used to love practicing the um the stand the poses of the Sailor Scouts. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, it's, it's just like me trying to be a Super Saiyan back then. It wouldn't happen. Moon Prism Power! There you go. By the power of the moon, I will punish you! Like my Sailor Moon impression, viewers? Huh? No. No. <laughs> okay, fine! What's up guys, this is Mike from Race Break Gaming, and we're finally on the way to end the star. Oh, let's play Pokemon X! Well guys, last time, we checked out the Frost Cavern, stopped another Team Flare plot, and saved an Obama Snow, which also yielded us the Obama Sight. Obama uh, Sight! Obama Sight. I, I, I can't get over that. I can't get over that. Obama Sight. Obama Sight. Who cares? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, if you have a bomb stone in the party, you can make a vault with that stone, obviously. So, there you go. Which, luckily enough for us, Route 17 up ahead, you can catch Snowverse there. So let's get going, then. We're almost to end the star now. I didn't make any changes since the last episode, so now we can just get, get on the road. In any case, to me, Mammoth Swine has to be the easiest Pokemon to ride. Yeah, it was better than being on a spiny-ass back of a Rhyhorn. <laughs> Bust right through with Palo Swine. Or Mammal Swine, sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow is the only thing that comes to you, even if you don't do anything. Everything else in life has to be fought for, so go out and get what you want. Wow, that is deep, lady. That's something I would say. Wow. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> in any case, well, even though the blizzard cleared up in, in, in Dandemil Town, the blizzard has not let the fuck up here, that's for sure. I went here off screen um, in, in, in a cut clip and stuff like that from last episode that I didn't add to the um, episode. So, yeah. In any case, here's the guy from the bridge. Hey, dude. Ahoy there, trainer. Shortly after you headed off to the frost cavern, Mammal Swine came back. Did something happen over there? <laughs> a lot. They were trying to use a bomb of snow as some kind of energy source. I wonder if that's the same Obama snow as the one our, our mammal swine is friends with. See, a few years back, an Obama snow came into town carrying a mammal swine that was all beat up and injured from something. I wonder if mammal swine was worried about its pal. Trainer, you should ride on mammal swine's back to the other side. This deep snow and all the rocks along the path are nothing against mammal swine's strength. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> On the back of a mammoth swine, you can smash any rocks in your way. Cool. But yeah, pretty much, you gotta get on mammoth swine. Just like when we were... Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> just like when we were riding on Rhyhorn earlier in the game, on the way to Glittering Path. Yeah, this snow is deep as fuck here. We cannot normally walk in this area. Speaking of which, Delibad! But yeah, you can also encounter Pokemon on the path, just like with Rhyhorn earlier in the game. You know what, viewers, look at the bottom of the screen there. You notice there's snowflakes in the background in the, in the fight menu? Oh, that is a nice touch. That's a nice touch. I don't give a shit about Delibird, so I'm just going to pass it for now, obviously. In any case, as I mentioned last time, you can catch Sneasel on this route. So there you go, but I but I have patience problems. That's why I added got one prior to it. So there you go. But yeah, sneeze along this route's really cool. Ah! Here's the thing, I didn't mention this last time. But um you can get a razor a razor claw, but I don't think you can get that until like like very late in the game or in post game. And stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Nah. Why should I have to wait till post game, which I'm not going to do, to get um 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 you know Weavile? Why should I have to wait till post game for that shit? Fuck no. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just add it into the game. I mean, I already added fucking um <laughs> already added fucking um Sneasel and uh, and Bear Tick in. So why the fuck not, right? But yeah, um, Mammal Swine, can you get up there, please? Bruh. Huh. Can Mammal Swine not get up there? That path is literally. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm about to say. 
I guess you're like, no, you walk. I did all the trudging and shit. <laughs> I don't know why, but this section reminds me of Mega Man Legends 2. Remember when we were going through Forbidden Island in the beginning of the game and stuff like that? All those snow paths and shit? And then every time you got to like a corner or, or like turning a corner, a giant ass mammoth robot was around the corner trying to crush your ass. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Oh man, good times, good times. I wonder if there's a ROM hack or a mod version of, of Mega Man Legends 2. I would love to play that. Both Legends games, if, like, I, I don't mind doing the Legends series again, honestly. I, I miss it already. If there is a ROM hack or a mod version of the first two games, if anyone knows about any ROM hacks or mods of the first, um, you know, of both Legends games, let me know in the comments and stuff like that if I don't find one prior. So, there you go. But in any case, hmm, was that the only thing over here? Uh, Care for a sky battle for Sky Trainer? Uh, I would, but I'm on my way somewhere, lady. Maybe next time. <laughs> Man, a lot of Sky Trainers in this game. I like that, though. It, it actually gives your flying Pokemon some exercise. If You know what I mean? Alright, let's continue on, then. Uh, game? Huh. Is there another section that I missed? Okay, there it goes. How? Now you can't even really even see that shit until you actually go down. Camera angles suck there, right there. Then again, considering we're in a blizzard, I can barely see shit myself. Ugh. This is what happens when you're me and you get so excited and you don't wear your glasses before you do recordings. Especially with harsh conditions like this. The case, was that it? Cool, that's it, we're done. Nice. Ugh. Thank you, Mamu. Appreciate it, big dude. In the case, we're on... Huh? Hello? Who is it? Serena? What's up? Mike, this time I challenge you to a battle in front of the Anastar City Gym. Bruh. What? Prepare yourself. Really? Really, Serena? We fought each other like, what, three times now? And you have not beaten me once. You would think at this point she'd just give up. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, ooh, I'll take that rare candy. Thank you. Now, I admire Serena for actually not giving the fuck up, honestly. I mean, we already, I already know she can't beat me. She can't beat me. But at the same time... Um, yeah, I appreciate and admire the fact that she does not have a quitter mentality. You know what I mean? Like, even though she knows she's going to lose, she's still going to do, she's still going to fight and shit. I like that. I like that. That's one thing I will give Serena. That's the only thing I would really give Serena is that she has a not give up attitude. So, I'm, am I actually praising Serena? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. You never thought you'd hear that shit from my mouth. <laughs> Lot, never mind. I'm sure. I sure wish there were some floor around Anastar's sundial. Pokemon that keep their faces in the sun and a sand dial that keeps time by the sun's travel. Sunlight and shadow at play is sweet to see. Yeah, I bet for a hex maniac. <laughs> in any case, Anastar City, we finally made it. Woo! Hey, Senna! You there? I was wondering where you were. I saw Dexio in town. I didn't see her there. I came in place of Dexio to tell you something. There's a person here in Anastar City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Oh. Cernorus, if memory serves. Almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. Put them to good use, would you? All right. We get some repeat balls. Thank you, Senna. Cinnabon. No, no. Repeat balls make it easier easier to catch Pokemon you caught before. Even though they have the same species, the strengths and natures of individual Pokemon can be really different. Yes, I know that. I have I have balls. Uh, repeat balls. 
and balls. That being said, though, the tip of the sundial shadow. If we were to, if we were in a mystery novel, that would probably be some, probably be something buried there. Hmm, jinkies. <laughs> no, no, no. That being said, though, sup, lady? How's it going? I can read Pokemon memories. People call me the Memory Girl. Do you want to know the memory of your Pokemon? Uh, I guess so. Which Pokemon's memory do you want to know? Hmm. Is she like the Pokemon Seer from, um... Hmm. I think she... I think she's she's like the Pokemon Seer from, um, from Pokemon Crystal. And stuff. Like where you met them and stuff like that. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. How about Noivern? Noivern was raised by Mike and evolved at a ruin. The Pokemon remembers that it felt proud. Oh, okay. <laughs> all, right, what if, all, right, all right, one more. What about my Typhlosion? Let's see. CJ battled at Mike's side and defeated Sandile. The Pokemon definitely remembers that it got a bit carried away. <laughs> yeah, well, CJ takes after me, so there you go. We all can get a little hot-headed in battle sometimes. Ah, it, it, that's just our trait. Mm. Hashtag fucking Kofepe. Mm. No, thank you, Nurse Joy-sama. That being said, though, they say that Innistar sun Sundial couldn't be manufactured with today's technology. Make, makes you really wonder how the people in Pokemon from long ago managed to build it. Maybe it was carried, created using the power of a legendary. Maybe. Hey, Mr. Bonding! I'm coming in hotel rooms. It's weird, honestly. Then again, he's a weird dude. It's bonding time! Yay, EXP power! Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, viewers, I'm back. Sorry about that. My microphone cut out, so I had to use my spare. <laughs> in any case, let's continue on then. In any case, how's it going? I may not be able to share my love with you, but I can certainly share some TMs. Here, take this. Ooh, the flamethrower TM. Nice. Thank you. Come back tomorrow during a different time of day, and I'll give you another TM. Cool, thank you. Yeah, I was wondering what we'd be getting the flamethrower TM. Kind of shocked we haven't gotten the ice beam TM yet. But then again, you know, it's not much of a shock, especially considering um how they did it back in the previous generations. Like, you have to wait till, like, near Snowpoint City just to get the ice beam TM. No, 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 afterwards. Because you would need um rock climb in order to get to where that ledge is on Route 217. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That was so fucking annoying. <laughs> but in any case, uh, they sell the Elemental Trifecta Ultimate moves. Um, Well, not Ultimate, but, you know, the standard good moves. Blizzard, Thunder, Fire Blastal. Yeah, they're still strong, but not strong enough now. Yeah, for some odd reason, they reduced the power of it from 120 to 110 each. Good moves, but terrible accuracy. Especially on um, Blizzard. 70%. Ugh. We got Focus Blast here, which is also 70%. It's a special, um, special attack um, fighting type move. Um, Not worth it. Hyper Beam, however, is worth it. 150 power normal type move. I think Hyper Beam is, is special based. Whereas its counterpart, Giga Impact, is physical based. So, you know, there you go. That being said, however, now that that's done, let's go s explore some more of um, Anastar. In any case, yes, the real reason to come here. Close! Yes, it's shopping time, bitches! Yes. But in any case, they sell some of the best gear in the game here, man. I'm talking about the coats, obviously. Man, they got some really fucking good coats. Now, since we are in the northern sections of Kalos, these are the snowy sections of the region. Needless to say, you'll want to buy some warm gear. As such, a nice padded coat and stuff like that. 
the blue coat in particular in the middle is my favorite one here. So I think I might go and um think I might go and equip that here. All right, there you go. Get that bag. And oh, I already got this. Wait a minute. That's weird. There's supposed to be an orange um beanie cap here. Hmm. Why is why is the black beanie cap here? That's weird. Hmm. I guess it changes depending on the day or, or the time of day or something, I guess. But I remember there being an orange beanie cap here. Weird. Hmm. Well, whatever. In any case, I'm going to go change my, my look and I'll see you at the end of my glamour. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Here's my glamour set for now. But yeah, since we're in cold areas, I figured the padded coat is the best coat. And the blue one is definitely my favorite. Matches well with the blue, or, or rather with the black um, beanie cap, black boots, and the black um, shorts. We'll get there when we get there. But for now, ah. Hey, dude. You there. Use this and awaken your Pokemon to hidden powers. Oh, wow. We finally get the hidden power, TM. It's about damn time. When a Pokemon learns to move hidden power, somehow I can tell what type it'll be. Should I tell you what type of Pokemon, hidden power your Pokemon will learn? All right. Let's see. How about Guardy? Let's see. If this Pokemon were to learn hidden power, the moves type would be Grass. Grass? Well, I guess there's no need for that because we got Energy Ball. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no need for that now, I guess. In any case, um, oh, yeah, the guardhouse down here that leads to the southern section outside the city. Yeah, it's cock-blocked. I don't know why they do this, but for the entire game, it's like they stop you from going outside of the place that you happen to be going to next like literally it's it's annoying but yeah we got the story of xerxes here the legendary 800 years ago the pokemon known as xerxes used its horns to eliminate or eliminate illuminate the lands of kalos at that moment people in pokemon throughout the land felt great energy and vitality surge through their bodies at the same time a vast forest sprung up with xerxes at its center Legend has it that when it nears the end of its thousand year lifespan, Xerxes releases all of its remaining energy, sharing it with all living things nearby. There's another story I know that talks of the appearance of such a fortuitous Pokemon. Back 3,000 years ago, the Kalos region was engulfed in a terrible war, which we learned from Lysander earlier in the game. So the tale goes, a Pokemon came to the rescue of all the wounded Pokemon that had been caught up in the conflict. Some people suspect the Pokemon that appeared was Xerxes, but there's no way to know. Maybe they just wish the legendary had come to the rescue to brighten the tale of woe. Su supposedly, after Xerxes released its remaining energy, it transformed into a dried up tree. It remains in hiding deep within the forest, according to old tales, as I say. Stories and tales. Interesting. A few years back, some people came around here asking the same questions. Huh. Were there other people around here that were looking for the legendary too? Interesting. Hmm. Not sure what what will be from that, but there you go. <laughs> In any case, before we go, I know there's a hidden item over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Damn it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can't fool my treasure hunting eye. I learned from the best treasure hunter that there is. Or thief. Treasure hunter! Oops, sorry, Locke. <laughs> but yeah, Locke is the best. And we all know that. He's the best treasure hunter. Either that or Zidane. Maybe. I don't know. They're both good. Hey, dude. With my wife gone, my life has become very lonely. Would you be so kind as to lend me one of your Pokemon? You know, to keep me company? I hate to be picky, but I'd love to take care of a Pokemon that's level 5 or under. Level 5 or under? Why? Huh. Does he give you something important if you do? Huh. I mean, I, I do... Now that I think about it, I do have a Pidgey. That, um, remember that Pidgey that I caught earlier in the game? Yeah, I still I still have it in my um in my storage and stuff that I haven't... um I, I haven't used Pidgeys since, like... Since we first caught it. So, yeah. I guess, let's go check out the Starbucks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. I forgot. 
you actually have to actually somebody has to guide you around to make you get to a table in this in the Carlos's Starbucks. Seriously, I'm go if I'm going to a Starbucks to get some cafe, why do I have to be guided through the damn place to a seat? I know where I want to fucking sit down. Like seriously, I can't like drink my cafe and 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 type on my laptop looking important and like that. I had to actually be guided around like some kind of dog on a leash. Bruh. Bruh. That being said, though, damn! That is a big ass crystal. Look at this thing. It's huge. Well, yeah, this is Anastar's sundial. Wow, what a shock! And we find a sunstone right next to it. <laughs> clever, clever. So this is the Anastar Sundial. Wow. It it looks wild, honestly. It's like a giant ass megastone. It looks cool. I like that. In any case, alright, takes care of that. Hey dude. I just wanna I just wanna give a big Masi to a world filled with Pokemon. Huh? Huh? Uh, I, I don't know what he just said, but good for you. Mike! Huh? Oh shit, I forgot about Serena. Hi, Serena. Let, let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we were going to be rivals back in that cafe in Lumino City, after all. But you're not even a real rival. Who cares? Let's battle. Bruh. Well, you want to lose again, that's fine with me. Because it's time for a rival boss fight. Versus Serena, round four. Boink! And for our fourth round rumble with her, apparently she has a new Pokemon with her now. It's about time. Like, you literally go through the entire game. We're at the seventh gym town, and she still has four Pokemon. Like, bruh. Bruh. Get something else. Like, serious. Fake out? Really? Why the fuck do Pokemon use this move? It's such a troll tactic. It's annoying. Really, bitch? Okay, fuck you. Moon Blaster! Feel the power of Sailor Moon, bitch. It, nah, nah. <laughs> Viewers, I, I gotta tell you, I mean, I used to watch the anime Sailor Moon back when I was a kid back in the day. I used to love practicing the um the stand the poses of the Sailor Scouts. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, it's, it's just like me trying to be a Super Saiyan back then. It wouldn't happen. Moon Prism Power! There you go. By the power of the moon, I will punish you! Like my Sailor Moon impression, viewers? Huh? No. No. <laughs> okay, fine! S shit. I tried, okay? Damn. But your best wasn't good enough. Let's go, Snipe! Oh, she has a Vaporeon now! Well, interesting. Vaporeon, one of the best Pokemon in the Rule 34 community. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. No, seriously. Vaporeon is like... I don't know. It's weird. But people see Vaporeon... Rule 34 is a very sexual, sexual community, if I do say so. Ah! Like seriously, I, 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 you can look on there and you see like a shit ton of pics about Vaporeon and very suggestive um um looks and shit like that. I'll just say that I, I'll just say that I don't want to go too far into it because I don't want to get um demonetized. So, <laughs> needless to say, yeah. Nasty ass water, huh? How about this? Oh yeah, I taught I taught Novern, um, Noivern, Hurricane, and Boom Burst. Um, obviously from the Madame Rilana. So there you go. Now, Hurricane. Uh, okay, Hurricane. Epic rudeness, like bitch. I'm trying to I'm trying to do good moves here. There you go. Bye! Go back to the Rule 34 forms, you weirdo. Uh, no, 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 no. 
No. Not calling any Rule 34 lovers weirdos. Just saying, everybody has their fetish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. Everybody has their fetish, and I appreciate, or rather, I respect that. So, there you go. People see Pokemon as sexual objects. That's, that's just how some people are. <laughs> okay. Okay, stop, stop. I'm serious, though, like, bro, why? Then again, um, um, Absol. No, no, no. You're weird. No. Don't say anymore. The combo was already weird enough. Now. I should go cry. Oh, <laughs> like, like dropping giant ice meteors on your head. I love it. Ow. Are you done? Cool. I'm done with you. I should go cry. Suck my ice cubes, bitch! <laughs> well, Serena, you lose again. Damn. You tried a little bit harder this time, so I'll give you that much. But your best wasn't good enough. Am I just not... Yeah! I'm just not good enough to bring out the best of my Pokemon. Yeah, you suck ass. Very badly. Ooh, ooh damn. Sorry, Serena, I don't mean to shit on you that much, but... My Pokemon are so much stronger now. But you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. As usual. Anyway, I'll hear your Pokemon here. Uh, thanks, Serena. You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it, because I clearly can't defeat her with my shitty-ass team. Bye! Bruh. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> I feel so bad for Serena. <laughs> she stands no chance and she knows it. You can't very well be our rival if you're not really putting your best foot forward in these battles. Seriously, we're at the 7th gym town and she still has 4 Pokemon. Some of them only have like 2 or 3 moves. Like seriously Serena, get good. Get good. Her team is not terrible, per se. I mean, the evolution that she picks depends on your starter as well. So, there you go. But, yeah, if you if you chose, um, like, let's say, like, Chespin or something like that, she would have, um, Jolteon, I think. So, yeah, she has a different evolution depending on what you decide to, um, get as your starter at the beginning of the game so there you go but in any case with serena took him down and the city explodes how about we take on the inner star city gym and get our seventh badge but what awaits us in this gym how strong is the gym leader find out next time you guys enjoy you know what to do hit that like button subscribe to the channel for gaming for me and of course when you subscribe be sure to hit the bell to notify my newest uploads got something to say of course you do leave a comment duh so next time, dudes and dudettes, smile for Rage Break Game and hope your Rage Breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.